Hello, welcome to Pyrex screencast. In this screencast I'll show you how to display molecular surfaces. I'll then use my AVI to visualize volumetric data. I'll start by reading a molecule from the previous screencast. Here's that molecule. Right click on this molecule and select display molecular surface. This computes molecular surface and shows the result here. To explain the algorithm behind this surface computation, I'll go to my AVI tab and here you'll see this grid object. I'll right click on it and choose odd module and select outline. So the way I compute the surface is basically I first compute a scalar function on this grid. I then use isosurface module to compute the isosurface that gives me this molecular surface. I've explained this algorithm in Pyrex forum under this topic and I'll post a link to this topic in Pyrex website under videos. I'll post a link also to MyAvi user guide where you can learn more about MyAvi. Let me go back to this topic. Here I've posted also a link to an article that contains the formula I used for molecular surface computation. Here's that scalar function and it's a sum over all atoms in the molecule. Here R sub i is atomic radii, X sub i is atomic coordinates, and this B sub i is a parameter called blobbiness. So this function is basically a sum of Gaussians which are centered around atomic coordinates. But let me go back to Pyrex and I'll double click on this surface object to bring me this parameter panel. Here you can modify this ISO value used for the surface computation and you'll see the surface updating here. Another interesting parameter to play with under Actors tab, there is this opacity slider. You can lower its value and it will make the surface transparent so that you can see atoms underneath this surface. I'll OK here and go and hide this surface since we won't need this surface for the rest of the tutorial. I'll go to Autoduck tab and here if you follow it along with the first screencast you'll have under Macromolecules a folder called HSG1 which contains among other things autogrid maps and here I'll select carbon atom map and right click on it and choose display Myavi or you can just double click on it and this would show the this surface for the grid and it's outlined by default. I'll go to my AVI tab and here you'll see this carbon atom maps. I'll right click on this surface and delete it. I'll go select the surface and go to odd module and select volume this time. This does the volumetric rendering I'll double click on this volume object which will bring me a parameter panel that I can use to control this volume rendering. Here one of the interesting plot here is this alpha versus position. Alpha is the transparency and position in this case is the uh, carbon atom energies. I'll right click on this curve and move this here and click update and this will show a very nice interesting volume rendering of of the auto grid maps this con concludes this screencast thank you very much for watching